Okay, so the instructions for this question say to make sure your interpretation is specific to this experiment. So what I mean by that is don't just say our p-value was significant, that means there's a difference between the groups. That could be applicable to any experiment, right? So what I mean is be specific to this particular experiment. So as an example, say you were doing an experiment with mice and you were giving them two different types of diets, diet X and diet Y, and then you were looking to see if the mice on these different diets gained weight differently. So say you did a t-test, you found that your p-value was 0 0.03. First of all, would that be significant or not? Yes, it would be significant because it's less than 0.05. So the way you would interpret that in your particular experiment, if, for example, diet X caused a higher growth, higher weight gain for the mice, you would say the p-value was significant. This means that diet X led to significantly higher weight gain for the mice than diet Y. So that's what I mean by being specific to this experiment. Describe not only what the difference is and whether the p-value is significant, but which one of those values is higher based on the data that you have. And if your p-value is significant, then you can conclude that that difference is indeed significant.